I call the member for Hughes. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Tonight, I'd like to share with the House some great news. We've had a report in today's papers, Deputy Speaker, in The Australian by Matt Chambers, the resources reporter, under the headline, Coal Can't Compete with Renewables. It quotes the AGL Energy Chief, that's AGL, the same company that's just put a 20 per cent price increase for New South Wales, their customers, Deputy Speaker. He says, AGL Energy Chief, who runs one of the nation's biggest coal fire power businesses, says coal cannot repeat with renewables, where prices are falling, and which he sees dominating base load power. Quoting him, they say, technology is driving this. We don't see any other base load other than renewables. You will hear people say, no coal can compete. But I've looked at the numbers and come to decisions that are going to direct billions of dollars in investment. And I've looked pretty hard. This is wonderful news. Because what that means, Deputy Speaker, if coal is truly can't compete with renewables, well, we can simply finish the renewable energy target today. We don't need it. We don't need it. If renewables are truly, truly cheaper, why do we need to subsidise them? We can cut all the subsidies back to zero. We can finish the subsidised feed-in tariffs, Deputy Speaker. We can abandon any thought of carbon taxes in the future because of this wonderful, wonderful news. The Finkel report, Deputy Speaker, because of this announcement by AGL, is now completely redundant because renewables, according to AGL, are cheaper than coal and coal cannot, coal cannot compete. If we do a reverse auction, Deputy Speaker, AGL should be all in favour of that. Because what that means, Deputy Speaker, if we have a reverse auction to get more power in the grid, to address the shortages that we are likely to have in South Australia, in New South Wales and Victoria this summer, what that means that reverse auction will be run, will be won by renewables with storage, Deputy Speaker. It's also great news for Australia's international competitiveness because we see, Deputy Speaker, around the world they are still building something like a thousand coal-fired power stations. So these nations, Deputy Speaker, are, speaker sorry, are still making these investments that are wasting billions and billions of their capital. This will put Australia at a great competitive advantage. The Paris Agreement, Deputy Speaker. We can go back to Paris being known as the city of love, Deputy Speaker. And Deputy Speaker, but it may be bad news for the Iranians, because we know under the Paris Agreement, Deputy Speaker, their cut to emissions were based on them receiving international support of $35 billion. That's US $35 billion. Therefore, Deputy Speaker, that money that we would have had to tip in to that UN Climate Fund will no longer have to be part of the $35 billion that the Iranians want. And the Americans, Deputy Speaker, the Americans are also wasting their valuable capital. We've seen the report, Deputy Speaker, that in the US, on the latest figures, on year to date, that their actually coal production has increased 17.6 per cent. So, Deputy Speaker, this is a malinvestment in the US, and we've seen their coal consumption, Deputy Speaker, on the latest year-to-year -year basis decline 5 per cent. Sorry, increase 5 per cent, Deputy Speaker. So more and more wonderful news in the short term. And perhaps AGL, Deputy Speaker, that have seen their share price their market capitalisation increase about seven or eight billion dollars over the last few years. What they can do, Deputy Speaker, if now coal can no longer compete with renewables, all the money that they are receiving under the renewable energy target from the REDS, Deputy Speaker, they can pay that money perhaps back to the government. They could even perhaps donate it to charity, Deputy Speaker, because it's clear from the statement of their chief executive, that they no longer need those generous subsidies that the government gets, Deputy Speaker. But, Deputy Speaker, it may only be short-term good news, because our nation's competitive advantage for decades has been in low-cost coal fire power stations. If it is true that coal is no longer competitive with renewables, the renewables that we are talking about is Chinese solar panels and Chinese wind farms. If that's the case, our nation no longer has an advantage in energy. It no longer has a competitive advantage because every nation is free 
to buy those same solar panels. So, Deputy Speaker, with that, we know the future the that we can simply cancel the renewable energy target today based on...